Okay, so today we are going to try the Inglot Perfect Cover Up Foundation. This is HD. The color I got was number 71. This is made out of Poland. So I've been using their eyeliners recently, their gel eyeliners. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and try their foundation. So we're going to do an all-day wear test on this bad boy today. And it looks like I got an awfully light color. And the two pumps pretty much look like it's going on just half my side of my face, really. So we'll do two more pumps over here. It definitely looks like I got the wrong color. So we're going to be a little ghosty today. Okay, so we got four pumps total. <laughs> I look way ghosty. We'll see if we can't darken this up with some other uh, products. I may not need a highlight. Let's put it that way. All right, so it went on relatively nice. It kind of, in a way, looks like it's sitting on top of the skin. Not really into the skin, if that makes sense. So having the Beauty Blender, maybe tap it out a little bit, seems to have helped. I definitely got the wrong color. Okay. So just tapping it in a few spots made it look a lot better. For whatever reason, it looked like I had brush strokes. And it looks like it's sinking in. So, whew, we're good. We're good. And I'm just going to use a brush lightly on the rest of the skin where I'll have basically powder because I don't like powder sticking to my foundation in weird spots. All right, so we're going to go ahead and keep going with the contour next. I'm using the Hoola Light. I think that Inglot's going to work really nice for me during winter. Okay, so we've added a bit of color back into my skin. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then we'll kind of go. Okay, I have the rest of my makeup put on top of the Inglot so it looks pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and seal it in for the day with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray. Alright, so now I got a little bit of a dewy look. But as far as how the makeup set up on the skin, it looks really nice. Yeah, I think it looks pretty, pretty good. So, and I've got a little brush piece. Okay, so I do like how it looks so far. So we're going to go ahead and wear this all day and see how well this performs for the rest of the day. So be ready. And oh, the eyeliner I used today is from Inglot also. So I've got two bits from Inglot from Poland. All right. It's end of day, 14 hours. Has it been 14 hours? 12 hours, not 14. Sorry, I can't count. Um, so anyways, this is the end of a work day 12 hours later with the Inglot Foundation. And where are we? So we're going to zoom in and get close and personal. So here we are, close and personal with the Inglot. Um, today it was probably in the 90s, hot, 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 hot. And um, so how did this baby perform? Um, forehead looks amazing. Looks amazing. Nose, don't judge the nose. With um, not feeling well or getting sick, I have been blowing my nose. In fact, you might see Vicks Vapor Rub. It's just been 
a bad, bad upper respiratory infection. So this piece right here, I'm not really concerned about as far as rubbing off because again, when you blow your nose um, with, you know, of course your makeup isn't going to stick. So don't look at this piece because that's not a fair interpretation of the foundation which for any of my regular YouTubers, you can probably hear it in my voice, or at least I can hear it um, myself that my voice isn't normal. Um, you can kind of see a little bit right here, pulling apart. So that would be the foundation. Um, so yeah, it just kind of looks like it's pulled apart a little bit right here. Now my chin, um, Again, you can kind of see how it's pulled apart a little bit. So this foundation, I wouldn't say is a full coverage foundation. And let's see what it says. It says perfect cover-up foundation. I, I would say this is probably more of a medium coverage foundation, nice not, not full coverage. Be so close and personal. I would say this is a medium coverage foundation. Um, given the fact that this has been on my skin for 14 hours, it's been a hot day. There's not a lot of oils that have peeked through, which is kind of amazing because I just did a foundation review yesterday on Lawless. And I mean, I had, I had a lot of oils at the end of the day with Lawless. This one I have, we're going to go ahead and do a bit of the blotting paper. So I didn't blot um, today. I didn't powder, I didn't do anything. I did my normal, we're gonna just wear it and see what happens. But I am impressed that this didn't, this isn't really shiny by end of day. So I think for a medium coverage foundation, not being shiny by the end of 12 hours, I think yesterday's video was um, maybe 10, eight to 10 hours, I can't remember. But I mean, a lot, a lot of oil. So this one, and I used a lot, a lot of blotting powder, pow, <laughs> blotting papers. So today I've only used three blotting papers. Um, I don't see where the foundation has really come onto the blotting papers. They're, they're pretty clear overall. And so let's see what that did to the foundation. So yeah, just with what little oil that was on the skin, it absorbed it. And now, um, yeah, I just, I think this is really more of a medium coverage foundation. I think if you have great skin or you don't need um, a lot of coverage, this is gonna be an interesting foundation, a pretty good foundation. Again, I'm just shocked at the fact that it really didn't, my oils didn't pull through is I'm going to go ahead and keep, I'm going to use it again tomorrow and the next day and see kind of how I had as good a luck again, because only three blotting papers at the end of 12 hours is still pretty damn amazing to me. Anyways, if you've used any Inglot products, please put those below. I'm kind of curious. What is your favorite? What would you buy again? What would you not buy again? Um, I'm always looking to learn from y'all. So, Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you with your purchasing power, and I hope you have a great day. Yeah, have a great day.